What's up, guys? This is John from johnmcneil.com, and you have made it to part two of the 1K per month challenge. I'm excited to share this part two video with you. I'm excited for those individuals that are going to be taking this challenge with me. And so without further ado, let's jump right into it because I have a lot to um, share with you guys. And um, in this particular video, I'm going to actually going to be showing you how you can make a thousand dollars per month I'm gonna actually show you two different options um, and then in video three we'll be getting into more of the brass tactics and strategies of how we're actually going to do it so this is gonna kind of be like an overview of how you can make a thousand dollars a month and a lot of different uh, resources and information I'm gonna give you in this video so I hope you guys enjoy it so um, the first thing I wanted to talk about is just this is what you're going to need to do. The first things first, before we even start talking about making money, is you need to suspend disbelief, right? And basically what that means and what I really want you guys to do is, you know, as you are listening to my voice now, there's a percentage of you that are already thinking in your head that this isn't going to work. I can't make a thousand dollars a month. I never make anything online. Nothing ever works for me. Like it's already playing in your head and you're already telling yourself that you can't. And basically what happens is, is when you continue to have those negative thoughts, you never actually take action on anything. You know, you never give anything a shot and it hinders you from progressing and moving forward. So what I'm going to show you today is a foolproof way to make a thousand dollars of residual income every single month. But I need you to suspend disbelief. I need you to just, you know, forget about I can't and say I can because I promise you if you follow these strategies there's no way that you can fail if you do the things that I'm going to talk about today in this presentation you will not fail right but you have to suspend disbelief so guys let's go and get right into it so how do you make a thousand dollars per month online so um, in order to do that you're going to have to sell a product or a service you're going to be targeting an irrational market and then you're going to be sending targeted visitors to that product or that website so of course we're making money online we have to sell something it has to be a product it has to be an online course it has to be a service you have to target a market that is irrational a market that is evergreen a market that is going to constantly purchase these type of products over and over again and there's just no lack of customers for those marketplaces and then lastly again sending super targeted traffic to those products right so let's go in and break that down a little bit further so when we're talking about those irrational markets here are some of the best markets that you should be selling products in again guys if you're selling pro products in these particular marketplaces there is tons millions and billions of dollars that is currently being spent on courses online in these particular marketplaces health and fitness relationships and dating internet marketing make money online um, you know, when you look at the health and fitness list, uh, niche, everyone wants to lose weight. Everyone wants to get six pack abs. Everybody wants to lose acne. You know, it goes on and on and on. I personally, you know, uh, seeked out information on how to get a six pack ab. Why not? You know, people want to be healthy. People want to be fit relationships and dating. You know, how many people have, uh, you know, signed up to one of these dating websites? How many people have purchased products on like how to pick up a girl or a guy, how to find your dream husband or wife, how to improve your marriage? You know, people are spending buku money on this stuff. And last but not least, everyone wants to know how to make money online. Everyone wants, to, wants extra additional income. Everybody wants to quit their job and make a full-time income and live the internet marketing lifestyle. Who wouldn't want to do that? Who wouldn't want to supplement their income? Who wouldn't want to completely uh, you know, quit their job and start making money online full-time, right? So 
again, in the internet marketing niche, you're going to be targeting people that want to make money from home, that want to do affiliate marketing. There's MLM out there. So these are the best markets to target, to sell these products in. When we're talking about making $1,000 a month online, this is peanuts, right? This is peanuts to compare to what people are spending money on. And if you don't believe me, do Google research. People are searching this stuff hundreds of thousands of times every single month. People are spending a ton of money in these markets. You have to choose one of these markets if you want to make some money online. So let's keep going. So here's the two options. So option number one, if you want to make $1,000 a month online, you're going to have to sell a product um, and you're going to either have to create your own product or you have to sell someone else's product as an affiliate marketer, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna break down each of these two options and then I'm gonna give you resources um, that you have to have in order to um, be successful with these options, okay? So let's get started. So before we, we actually get into the options, I want to talk about just our goal. Our goal is 1K per month, right? And we wanna make one, 1K per month on a residual basis. So whether you're creating your product from scratch or you're selling as an affiliate, the concept is the same. You know, it's basically a numbers game that you're gonna be breaking down. So um, in terms of products and commissions, say for instance, you have a, a $10 product and you make 100 sales, that will uh, equal to $1,000 a month. Say you have a $47 product and you make 21 sales during that particular month, that will equal to $1,000 a month. You have a $97 product times 10 sales, that will make $1,000 a month, you know, so forth and so on. If you have a $1,000 product, you make one sale a month, you make $1,000, guys, right? So the numbers are the same. So you know what you have to do. You basically just take $1,000 and divide that by whatever the commission amount is that you're going to make. And that is going to be your target number in which you need to sell during the particular month. And what I want you guys to focus in on is continuity, recurring income products, right? So for instance, if I'm getting a $47 uh, uh, commission um, on, a, on a product and I make 21 sales this month and I make $1,000, well, that's phenomenal. And that's actually pretty simple to do. Um, but... If I'm selling that as a recurring income product, say it's a membership site, say it's an online uh, course that has, uh, you know, monthly tutorials or monthly services that they provide, um, and those same 21 people that I signed up this month are going to pay the membership for next month and the next month and the next month. Right. So now you're building up that residual income. And as you continue to 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 market that thousand dollars of residual income will definitely grow. But I just want to get you guys to see how the numbers break down and how this really works. But, you know, we're going to go more in depth into all of this stuff. But I just want you guys to know that. You know, you got to focus on like the numbers. What is the commission that you're going to make? Divide that by a thousand dollars and then I'll tell you how many sales you need to make and focus on recurring income. So let's go ahead and get into the options. So option one, we talked about uh, creating a product. So if you never create created a product, um, it can be daunting at first. Right. But a lot of the things that um, you need to create a product can be outsourced and I'll talk about that. So just to kind of give you a skeleton of what you kind of need, if you are creating a product, you're gonna need a, you know, a domain and hosting because you gotta have a domain, you gotta have somewhere to host a website. You're gonna have to have the, cre the uh, content created. You know? um, you're gonna have to have a video course, um, a membership site. You're gonna have to record and edit the videos because you have to be have a way to uh, disseminate the information to your customers, right? So you wanna put that into 
to videos and have that in a membership site so that they can access the information. You're going to need graphics for your website and you're going to need a sales funnel, so to speak. So we're talking a squeeze page, a lead magnet to get them onto your list for free. You're going to have to have a sales page. You got to have sales copy. You got to have payment integration, autoresponder, configuration, follow up email sequences to continue to sell to that uh, your subscribers. And you have to have targeted traffic to your website, right? So that's kind of the skeleton. If you were going to create a product, these are some of the basic things that you would need. So let's go more in depth. So in terms of domain and hosting, I'm going to just kind of run through this stuff really fast because I want to show you guys some stuff. Um, in terms of domain and hosting, you can get it from anywhere. I just listed a few here, hostmonster.com, emotionhosting.com. It's one I actually use, um, godaddy.com. A lot of these hostings, you can purchase, you know, hosting and a domain for five, six, seven, eight dollars a month. And there's no problem. There's tons of them out there. So I just listed a few. Um, in terms of content creation, um, so this is where a lot of people get stuck at because they... Um, don't know how to create content or they feel like it's too difficult or they feel that they're not an expert so how can they create a product so obviously if you are an expert in the subject matter that you are creating so for instance if you're going to be talking about um, affiliate marketing or you want to create a course on affiliate marketing if you're an expert in that subject or you know enough about that subject you've done enough study and you've been through enough trainings so that you can create your own content then that is great you can go ahead and do that but if not you can go ahead and outsource the content guys you don't even have to be the expert right you can outsource the content so I listed a couple websites here, um, upwork.com, warriorforum.com, freelancer.com, and guru.com. And basically these are like um, outsourcing websites that you can go on and you can post the job and um, you can get the work literally done for you. Um, so for instance, if you wanted to create a product on affiliate marketing, you could go over to Upwork. Um, you can go ahead and post a job and have them create the, the content and uh, format it into PowerPoint slides. And then you can go ahead and record it, those PowerPoint slides, in your own voice using Camtasia or any other kind of screen recorder. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to, to just Upwork. I just wanted to show you guys what these outsourcing websites kind of look like. So let's go ahead and jump over. to Upwork, okay? So basically, there's two ways you can kind of like navigate this site. One way is you can just go up here and type in exactly what you want, or you can go, go over here and post a job, right? And basically, you just wanna tell them exactly what you want. You have the option to basically choose a category, and then you can go down here and name the job, and then you can give a description of the job and also in terms of payment you can say you want to pay by hour or you can say hey i want a fixed amount and you can go ahead and put in your budget so for instance if i wanted to do a product on um this i wanted to create a product i could this is i put something in word for you guys so just to kind of give you an example, so I could go on there and kind of post this in the description and just said, hi, I'm looking to get PowerPoints created for a topic of the topic of affiliate marketing. I would like 10 individual PowerPoint slides created that will consist of 10 slides each. So I'm basically saying that I want to get 10 different PowerPoint uh, slide presentations with 10 slides each. The concept is to take a complete beginner from, from scratch and teach them how to become a successful affiliate marketer. The 10 PowerPoint slides are outlined below, right? So then you can go ahead and you can start outlining what you want the PowerPoints to be. So PowerPoint one could be overview of affiliate marketing and what you're learning in this course. PowerPoint two could be, you know, how, how do you do niche research? How do you find the best networks to sell the products? How do you select the right products to promote? Uh, PowerPoint five could be, you know, how to create the website, 
how to six could be how you set up your email file integration and follow up how do you get traffic to your website and the traffic can be broken down into you know getting traffic with youtube get traffic with facebook get traffic with solo ads you can have all of these powerpoints just kind of like laid out and bullet pointed for the outsourcer and then you can go over back to upwork and then just post that uh the job back in here right so you just write it all out and you post it in there and you can just say hey i'm looking to spend you know a fixed amount and you can just put your budget you know you could say four hundred dollars five hundred dollars whatever the case may be whatever you feel like you can afford and then all of the people that are on this site and there's hundreds upon hundreds of these freelancers up here they'll see your job post and they'll contact you They'll contact you. And obviously you can go through here and you can type in like content, content creation and hit enter. And it'll give you, it'll give you people that um, actually will have like that in their, um, uh, in their profile so you have people that you know video marketing that does copywriting content creation they'll have like their hourly fee it'll tell you like how much money they've earned on the website they'll have like their job success rate so you can go through here and just start looking at people um, but what i would just suggest is you go ahead and just post your job and have that detailed information of exactly what you wanted and i just did that little word document literally right before I started doing this uh, presentation. So um, I would have it way more detailed of exactly what I wanted. And then people in here can actually go and see your job posting and they can say, yes, I'll do your job for X amount of dollars, right? So let's go jump back into the PowerPoint. And all of these websites are going to be able to do that. You can go to the Warrior Farm, you can go to Freelancer, you can go to Guru.com, and they all are set up kind of like the similar way. And you can just take that one Word document that you created, and you can just basically price shop to see um, where you get the best price from, but as well as you know, really good quality. All right, so. Let's keep moving. So graphics is another thing that you're going to need for your website. So you're going to need product images like eBooks or video uh, images, your logo, squeeze page or sales page graphics. Again, if you are, in, you know, equipped to do that, if you know how to work Photoshop, you know, by all means do that. Again, you can outsource, you know, all of this. Um, I listed a couple of websites you can basically get graphics done at. Um, 99designs.com is one that you can do. Boxshotking.com, cheapminisites.com, and minisite91.com is another site. And let's pop over there since we're doing some training, right? Why not? So if we went over to, let's see, 99designs.com, basically you could go over here to categories. And the way this site works is you basically just, you can just go up here and you can type in exactly what you want. You can get logos, uh, landing pages, graphics, eBooks, whatever the case may be. So say if I just wanted to get some banners created for my website. So I would just type in banner there, go down here, click banner ad. And basically um, the way the site works is, you know, they have some examples of the banners here. But the way the site works is um, you pay a certain fee and you get multiple designers working on your banner, right? So for 49 bucks, you can expect 30 designs, right? Um, so different people will come in and design uh, the banner and you get 30 different designs um, and you know you can just select the one that you want. And then, the, of course, the more you pay, the more design options you get. So for 50 designs, it would be 129 versus 30 designs, which is only 49 bucks. So it just kind of depends on what you want. And you would just basically go in here, sign up, and just give them the information of what you're looking for. And they'll start designing your stuff. And that gives you a really good option. The other thing I wanted to show you was uh, this website called Minisite 911. 
And basically, these there's tons of these sites out here. And basically, these sites just do little mini sites. So for, for instance, if you wanted a squeeze page, a sales page, and like some graphics for your ebook covers or video covers, etc., cetera, um, you can see, you know, this site will basically do that for you. So it kind of has the squeeze page video or sales page video, the actual uh, banner or sales copy. You also have like the um, ebook covers that are all designed for you. So you can get like a whole package done um, at these little mini site graphic spots, right? So that's another good option for you guys to just get the whole thing created. And it's, it's fairly uh, inexpensive too. So it's not like a lot of money. So let's jump back into the PowerPoint. All right. And then, of course, you're going to need your sales funnel built out. Um, a lot of people use ClickFunnels. Um, it's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Um, lead pages, optimized press, um, all of these, um, you know, tools you can use to build out your sales funnel. And, of course, you can also outsource that as well. You can outsource everything, all the dumb for, uh, for you solutions. I mean, there are some done for you solutions out there where you can get the content created, you can get the graphics created, you can get the funnel built out, you know, everything that you would absolutely need can be done for you. Now that isn't going to be the cheapest, um, but there's uh, some different options out there. Um, so I just want you to know that you can get it all done for you if you wanted to. So if you do want to learn more about that, just make sure you contact me, uh, contact me for more information. Some other things that, you know, you're going to need, of course, an autoresponder. You can go with AWeber, get response. You're going to need a payment integration. So you can either use ClickBank.com, JVZoo, or PayPal. Um, a lot of people are using PayPal and JVZoo these days because um, it's just easier to just get it, get it done. Um, and, of course, you can get everything, all of this outsourced, um, everything set up from the email autoresponder integration, with your pages all the way through the payment and the delivery of the the um, membership site or product itself. So then the last thing is the traffic generation. So once everything is all set up, of course, you got to get some super targeted traffic to your website. So, I mean, a couple of different traffic methods are Google and Facebook ads, solo ads. That's basically when you're paying somebody to send your ad to their email list. Um, banner ads, there's banner ad networks where you can have a banner created and um, you can put your banner on blogs and websites that are highly trafficked uh, websites where they may get, you know, 100,000 visitors a month in the niche that you're trying to sell. So you can go ahead and go to different banner networks and get your banner placed on their website, you know, maybe for a couple hundred bucks for the month and get a ton of free uh, of traffic. Right. So some other things you can do is blogging. You can do video marketing, um, of course, social media. You know, you can do that. Or again, you can outsource your marketing. So everything can be outsourced, guys. There's a, a website called onlinejobs.ph that I wanted to quickly show you guys. Let's, let's pop over to that. And basically, this website is a site where. You have people from the Philippines that are well educated. They have degrees. Some of them even have like master degrees and they speak very, you know, perfect English. And they'll do a lot of these jobs that you may not want to do in terms of like writing articles, social media, blogging, forums, posting, uh, you know, SEO. They do graphics, they do uh, website program, they do a whole bunch of stuff. And um, again, you could just post a job here. And what's cool about this particular website and, you know, basically working with somebody in the Philippines is um, the amount of money um, that they'll work for because the the, va the dollar value is, is such so drastic. Um, if you're in the United States, um, you know, what you would consider um, a little bit of money is a ton of money for them. So you could go in here and just type in like social media. So just type that in and say you wanted some uh, a virtual assistant to work on like social media marketing for you. 
Well, you can go in here and you type in whatever you wanted to type in, article marketing, social media, and then you would get basically a list of people from the Philippines um, that can do different stuff for you. So, I mean, look at, you know, virtual assistant, um, best quality service, VA, social media, SEO, customer support, um, three years as a virtual assistant. And I mean, you can get, this person works from 297 to $396. Uh, and this is like per month and you're getting 30 hours of work a week. That's like a full-time employee just doing work for you, right? Can you imagine that? Look at this, SEO virtual assistant, WordPress, data entry, Amazon products research and listing. This person does SEO. This person does directory submission, article submission, blog posting, bookmarking, forum posting, blog commenting, link building. I mean, they know how to use all of these softwares. And this particular girl will work 40 hours a week. And we're looking at a minimum of like $300 a month, guys. Can you imagine having an employee, you can have them work for you 40 hours a week for $300 a month with all of these different things that you can do and traffic getting skills. Um, it's just phenomenal. It's phenomenal. So I wanted to show you guys that. Um, so let's jump back into the PowerPoint. So again, you can get everything outsourced, right? So option two, we're going to jump into option two. So that was option one. That's creating a product. And I know I kind of ran through that really fast because I don't want to make the video too long. Um, but again, uh, go through those resources. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And so like now let's jump into option two, which is affiliate marketing, which is selling someone else's product. So the key things that you must know when you're selling as an affiliate are these things that have uh, bulleted out for you. So you have to know how to find the right product that to sell that's actually converting, right? Because there's one thing to be trying to sell a product, but if the product isn't converting, if it's not selling, you're not going to be making any money and you're going to be wasting your time and your marketing spend on that particular product. So you got to know how to find the right product to sell. Um, the product that you sell, uh, you know, it needs to be able to allow you to build your own list. Um, that particular product or funnel or site needs to have multiple products in its funnel so it can't just be like one little product you need to have multiple products to give you ability to sell multiple items within the same you know funnel um and it needs to offer residual a uh, residual income component you know this is what we've been talking about you know creating that one thousand dollars per month online and we want to do it residually because we want to do the work one time and it just pays us over and over and over again you know the product needs to have massive value so it needs to be a product that actually people can learn something from that people actually get value out of and they can take that information and it's going to help them in their business or help them with whatever issue that they may be having. It has to solve their problems, right? Um, the product has to have ongoing training and the customer support has to be second to none. It has to be excellent. All right, so let's keep going. So when we're talking about finding a product, we want to talk about a high converting product, right? So a high converting product, again, if you're, you're looking at those different markets, what are those irresistible markets that we spoke about earlier? Love and relationships, health and fitness, and make money online. So those are where you want to find products to sell, right? Um, you want the product to have a reputable product owner, you know, so you want somebody that has, you know, basically been in that niche, paid their dues. Um, they've had success in that area because if they had a lot of success in a particular niche or a particular market, chances are they know what they're talking about. And chances are that they're going to be giving a lot of value through their products, you know, so you just want to make sure they have a good track record. Um, proven success of conversion. So you want to have real success and testimonials. You know, you want to make sure that whatever you're selling, that the there's success rates, right? You know, you want people to say, okay, 
you know, this make money online product really helped me make money. You want to make sure that those success stories are, are, are real. Or even if you were selling in health and fitness, if, you know, a person lost 30 pounds in 30 days, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, the strategies that they taught within the course actually work. And then you want to make sure that the product converts, um, you know, the tra- converts at a, a minimum of about 3%, right? So basically that means, you know, if I send 100 visitors to that page, I want it to, I want to make at least three sales, right? So if I'm sending 100 visitors to a page, I should be making at least a minimum of three sales with 100 visitors to the page. Industry standard, just so you know, is about one to 2%. So a lot of people say if you can get 1% conversion, that's good. Um, but I think that you need to have a high converting product and you need to, it needs to be at least 3%, if not more, so that you can actually be putting some decent profit into your pockets. So again, we talked about like the product must allow you to build your own list. Um, The product has to have a high converting squeeze page. Um, Just so you guys know, industry standards for squeeze page conversions are about 25 to maybe 30% on a, on a decent squeeze page. Um, I think if you have a really high converted squeeze page, you should get somewhere between 40 and 50%. So when you talk about, industry standards at you know say 25 to 30 percent if you send 100 visitors to a squeeze page you should be getting at least 25 to 30 opt-ins but on the high converting squeeze page side if you're getting 40 to 50 percent conversion rates on that squeeze page you should be getting 40 to 50 people opt in to that page and the, the cool thing is the higher the squeeze page conversion obviously the more money you're going to make because you're going to have more people seeing your offer. So just having a high converting squeeze page in itself is going to increase you the sales conversion because you have more people looking at your offer. And then you again, you have more people that you can follow up with in a email follow-up sequence. So and you, you definitely want to make sure that the, uh, the product uh, owner will provide you high converting email follow up sequences that will continue to sell the product uh, day in and day out. Um, you know, again, we talked about this. You said we want the product to have multiple products within the funnel. So, a typical funnel that's a good funnel that um, I would suggest you selling is, you know, having you know, these five different components there's a free component to get the person on your list. That gives them a lot of value. And then you have a tripwire product, which is basically like a product that's created that's, you know, really cheap, something like $10 and under, but it just delivers massive value and it and it gains the trust of your uh your prospects and your subscribers. And then you have your core product, you have upsells from your core product, basically just complementing whatever the core product is. That upsell can be something that helps uh, make the the process easier faster um done for you etc cetera, etc cetera. and then you can have your back in high ticket offers that um you know your high end coaching uh your uh live events etc you know this gives you opportunity to have you know multiple products to sell as you're sending traffic to your um website or uh, to that product and, you know, there's a lot of products out there you send in traffic to and they just have like one product and that's it. And if I'm going to be spending money or I'm going to be taking time doing free advertising, I want to have the ability to make as much money from the customers and the visitors that I'm sending to that website. So you got to have the funnel built out in such a way that you can make more money than just like a front end tripwire product, right? So again, um, from a residual income component, this is super duper important, guys. This is something that you got to have within your business, right? Because it's going to change your life if you can start making residual income. So it has to have this component. You know, you're going to do the work once. You're going to reap the benefits month after month. 
If you're spending money on advertising, you're going to reap the benefits month after month. For example, say you have a product that you're selling and you're making a $50 commission for, um, and you sell 20, um, you make 20 sales that first month and you make a thousand dollars. And then month two, you sell 20 more products and now you're at $2,000 month three, you sell, you know, now you're at 60 sales and you're making $3,000 of residual income guys. And I think you get the the picture, but just think about it. Let's just think about just $1,000 a month and say it took you, you know, it's 20 sales. You make 20 sales in month one. And then every month after that, you're making a thousand dollars of residual income, you know, month after month, month after month off work that you did, you know, in the past or money that you spent in the past. And it's continuing to pay you over and over and over and over again. Now, of course, you're going to have some dropout, but if you're continuing to market and you and just say you just kept if all you did was just kept those 20 sales going month after month, month after month, and it paid you a thousand dollars a month. Like, what would that do for you? How would that change your life? You know, a thousand dollars a month could probably pay someone's rent, it could probably supplement someone's mortgage, it could pay a car note, utilities, phone bill, cable, it could uh, give you the ability to take weekend trips. Um, and stay in nice hotels and go to restaurants and go to the mall and buy whatever you want because you have that residual income, guys. And you can do this. You can do this. You can absolutely do this. And this is why I want to do this challenge. Um, again, the products have to have, uh, you know, have to give massive value. Um, they have to deliver on what was promised. Um, and you want your products to, to over deliver, right? So for instance, say I bought a product for, I wanted to learn how to get traffic to my website using YouTube marketing. So I purchased that product, right? And I, all I'm thinking is that I'm getting a product on YouTube marketing and how to build my business with that. But once I got into the back office, not only did I get training on YouTube marketing, um, but I got training on Facebook marketing and Pinterest marketing, right? over delivered. I didn't even know that the product owner was going to give me these additional trainings. But when I got in there, not only did I get what was promised to me, but the product over delivered. You see what I'm saying, guys? They over delivered. Like as a customer, you're going to feel really good about that purchase and you want to continue doing business uh, with that product owner or with you, et cetera, et cetera. This is how you build relationships. Um, the product must provide additional services to help you sell. So that could be any type of services from tech, from traffic, co-ops, etc. You know, they need to help you make money because they're going to be making money, um, in, you know, at, at the same time. So, and again, you have to have excellent customer service guys. So that's about it. I mean, so the 1K per month challenge. So you're now equipped with everything you need to make $1,000 per month. So what's going to happen next is the final video is coming soon. Um, it'll probably be out in the next couple days. Um, and what to expect in part three of the 1K per month challenge um, is we're going to actually get the actual 1K challenge uh, strategy what we're going to actually do to create this 1K a month. So today was basically just like an overview. And, um, you know, because if you want to go out and do this yourself, you're, you're you know, you, you have, you're equipped to do it, right? We talked about creating a product. You can go out and do that. We talked about finding an affiliate product, what components you need. You can go out and you can do this on your own or you can, you know, build with us and, you know, do this 1K uh, challenge. So, you know, 1K strategy is coming soon. Part three will be coming to you guys very, very shortly. And, um, you know, we're going to be focusing on residual income. We're going to be focusing on making $1,000 a month with residual income. And important, this is what I, I want you guys to know. We're not going to be spending or investing a lot of money to do this challenge. You know, so I want you guys to just, again, suspend disbelief. Suspend disbelief. I 
gotta keep telling you guys that and we're not going to be investing a lot of money we're going to keep it very simple we're going to keep it very basic we're going to keep expenses very low and we're going to create one thousand dollars a month in residual income guys i hope that you got some value from this i hope that you're with me i hope you're ready to create this thousand dollars a month let's get to this challenge this is john from johnmcneil.com part three is coming soon look out for it if you have any questions reach out to me guys thank you so much